future. The view from Asia. Well, joining me now from Washington is Mark Bloomfield, who is president and CEO of the American Council for Capital. Mark, thanks so much for joining us here on the program. Amongst all the unknowns about his presidency, this is the one certainty. Uh, no doubt. Um, I uh, just came back from a place in the United States called the Ozarks, which is where a lot of Trump voters are. And the number one thing that came up in my conversation with these hillbillies, they called me Einstein since I come from Washington, is, uh, is the lack of jobs. And I know all about economic theory. I studied it, Ricardo comparative advantage. But the reality is there are certain segments uh, of American society that are losing jobs. And retraining alone doesn't help them. So I can understand that. And I think, quite frankly, the economic profession uh, needs to revisit uh, on how to handle globalization and trade. So it's no big surprise to me. And it's a political factor. It's going to be here regardless of who's present for a long time. But in terms of relations with Asia, the consequences of this uh, could be far-reaching. Well, the consequences could be far-reaching, but um, uh, the consequences for the American uh, worker are also far-reaching. And, and I don't think it's the end of the world. I, I, I think the president, as Kissinger said, is one of the most independent presidents that ever been elected. And, and we'll work this through, just like I remember I was on your show after Brexit. The world was going to come to an end. Well, the world's not going to come to an end. We still are one of the largest economies, and these things will be worked out. Well, this was, though, about strategic intent, and we've just heard there, I mean, one of the biggest beneficiaries of this is, is China. Well, one of the, may, may be, but one of the biggest folks who lost in the United States were the American worker. Look, I understand that we're going to have a net increase of jobs. I understand comparative advantage, the benefits to the consumer, but a, a leader of the United States can't just deal with the, these abstracts. The United States economy is not going to go away. The United States economy is still one of the largest and powerful. We're just going to have to take a second look at our relationships. But does this blow uh, American economic policy in Asia? Well, a lot of things are going to be blown away. I mean, I think we're tilting towards Asia, um, but I think this is a time to reset. Um, I, I just don't understand this concept that we're by lo re-looking at things and, 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 and revisiting um, the impact on this on, on the American worker is, is, is throwing it all away. Very, very simply put, trade is not the only factor. There are things that the American president should do and can do. We need to lower our corporate tax rates to bring jobs back. We have to have a massive infrastructure. Uh, those are things that need to be done where perhaps we'll deal with some of the bad consequences of trade. But as an American, I just cannot sit back here and, and say that uh, we do not have to address these serious concerns. If we don't, Brexit ain't nothing and, and Trump ain't nothing Mark in terms of, of future consequences. Mark Bloomfield, thanks so much for joining us here on the program.